You cannot put me in a box. You cannot define me so much so that I'm gonna show you. What you think the definition is, I'm gonna show you something even better. What's really good, y'all? It's your girl, Young Roots. Today is Friday, March 29th, Cowboy Carter Day. Um, as you can see, I'm in a new uh, facility. Uh, I just spotted something that... Uh, my host didn't want me to have. But anyway, what's really good, y'all? It's your girl, your roots. Today is Friday, March 29th. And I'm currently in a different city, different state. Living my life like it's golden. Like I said, Cowboy Carter came out today. I have yet to listen to it. I wanted to listen to it with a certain magnitude. But instead, I'm just going to beat it up. I think that'll be even better close to the ear. But uh, I remember the first time I listened to Renaissance and it rocked my world. Again, I'm not really a country fan, so I don't have I don't have like <clears throat> um, expectations per se because I'm not really a fan of the genre. But I'm a fan of Beyonce, Giselle knows Carter. So with that being said, my timeline on Twitter is all about it. My Instagram is all about it. My Facebook is all about it. I am so late. Um, and yeah so i am gonna do that and then i still still haven't finished before i let go and i just want to take a minute to shout out one of my subscribers her name is jada jada is someone who um i see her comments all the time it just she just shows that she watches my content in full um you know she gives suggestions that are typically very good she came on my live recently and, you know, I don't consider myself to be anybody to be nervous around. However, I'm living in my own body, so I don't know how I am perceived. Now I want to just take this time to shout her out because she's one of the reasons why I want to continue to do the book club. She's one of the reasons why I'm looking into Discord. I don't usually use that platform, but I do know that it it is used for things like that and um, I want to hear more of her ideas and I think that the more we build community here the better it is that people will feel comfortable in order to you know just really just show up and show out so this is shout out to Jada um, y'all need to tell her not to be nervous don't be nervous over here if you can comment you can come on my live and you can say some shit to me that's how I'm viewing my math but anyway yeah, so I'm going to listen to Cowboy Carter, and then, like I said, I only have this much left on the book. Once I finish this book, then I want to I wanna speak on it in, in full. So if you guys have not already read this, please, and if you're interested in Black Author, this is, this is a romance novel. And then I was told recently that she came out with a part two to this book. I think a subscriber told me that she came out to a part two to this book, and she also had like a reading or something like that. So, um... Yeah, I will be getting the second part to this book after I finish reading it. But I did also bring another book that I had called The Fine Print. So after this one, um, I will be reading that one. And we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm super excited to listen to Cowboy Carter. There's a lot of good stuff in here. And I want to use a little bit of it. Like, why wow, she got so much good stuff? I need a nail clipper too. I'm gonna use this uh this uh she got so many butters. What is this? This this is Taraji P. Henson. The what is this? Softer than a mother. Oh I know that's right. I think I saw this at Target I mean not Target, Walmart actually. Oh it smells good. It smells like it smells like lotion that we grew up with. Let me let me rub this on my ashy ass. So it's like a, it's like a, it's like a glaze more so than like a butter first per se. It's nice though. 
Mm. She gonna see this video and be like, I know this bitch. If y'all don't say nothing, if y'all don't say nothing, I won't say nothing. Ooh, I low key wanna just. She got so many lip products. Oh my god. Oh my god, I wanna use everything. Golly, this is so cool. It's like, it's like entering a whole new world. A whole new world. A dazzling place I never knew. Ba da 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 da. Ba da da da. Damn, I low key feel like I could do a get ready with me over here. I think I could. I might, shit. Let me put shit back how it was. Oh my god. stuff alone because that's how I should do it but my interest is peaked I wonder if she'll let me do a get ready with me in here there's not a lot of room though I wonder if we'll do be able to do a get ready with me together Ooh, that would be cool Yeah, shit. I'll talk to y'all later. Bounce on the shit, damn. Bounce on the shit, no hands. Shut me down, I died and someone brought me back to life But never to my senses Pounce on the shit, dance, dance Pounce on the shit, dance, dance Pounce on the shit, dance, dance Bounce on the shit, no hands Pounce on the shit, dance, dance Bounce on the shit, dance, dance Bounce on the shit, dance, dance Bounce on the shit, no hands Bounce on the shit, dance, dance Bounce on the shit, dance, dance Bounce on the shit, dance, dance Bounce on the shit, no hands Staring down the barrel of my gun Yes, I shut you down He cried the day he realized that lies Were hidden in my kisses Bounce on the shit, dance Bounce on the shit, dance, dance. Bounce on the shit, dance, dance. Bounce on the shit, no hands. Mall in a long time. Juicy Gray. I'm getting that to 
Juicy crab, eh, eh, I said juicy crab, 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 eh, I Juicy crab. You're not even aiming. You're just juicy crab. That's crazy. Cause I'm looking. I'm gas. I love that. What? It could be a little glass in there. I think so. It's just. Oh, it's a vacuum. Oh my god. Oh man. Yummy doodles. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Do you yummy. want to put it in a crib? In my city. What's really good, y'all? It's your girl, Young Roots, and we back again. Tuesday, Monday. April 1st. April Fools. But ain't a damn thing funny when Brent do. Anyway. Came to talk to you motherfuckers about what? There's a tornado. In my city. Yeah. Cowboy motherfucking Carter. Cowboy motherfucking Carter. Let's start from the beginning. First of all, I don't like country music. Country music is not something that I'll immediately go to, right? But I love Beyonce. And I feel like Beyonce loves me. And that's enough, okay? And so first we have to, we have to really acknowledge that this woman can sing. Before any genre, before any artist, before anything, we have to acknowledge the layers, the vocal layers that she put in this. We have to acknowledge the practice. We have to acknowledge the instrument, the voice itself, because it is an instrument. We have to acknowledge the fact that she said that this was an album five years in the making, meaning she left that Country Music Awards with the Dixie Chicks and said, you motherfuckers made me feel uncomfortable. If you want to make a scene, baby, I'm going to make a movie. And that she did. I will say, let's start off first of all. Sorry. First of all, I don't know what it is about 16 Carriages, especially where it is because it's after Blackbird, before Protector, which I love Protector as well. I don't know about what it is about 16 Carriages, but it really gets me. So in terms of like feel good music or like songs that really string to my heart, it's 16 Carriages, Protector, um, and Daughter. I want to say those are the three that really just, <sighs> but my favorite like that gets me going is Tyrant First, Yaya. Spaghetti, Levi's jeans, and River Dance, I want to say. Yeah. And Sweet Honey Bucket. But the ones that I consider to be like not underrated per se, but impress me when I didn't have any expectations is Bodyguard. I don't know what it is about Bodyguard, but with Bodyguard, I feel like I'm on a desert highway. 
it's one road going this way, one road going this way. I have on like a red tank top dress and then I have a polka dotted scarf that's white with red polka dots with white glasses, cat eye sunglasses and I'm driving and like the wind catches into my bundles and like it loosens up the scarf because the scarf is tied underneath my chin and it loosens up the scarf and the scarf flows in the wind and you know like miles back from me is the love of my life and he like his car accidentally catches it on the windshield and it comes through the window like it's just a sultry song and then the other song that gets me is Levi's jeans and somebody I saw a tweet that said um, Beyonce made Post Malone take a bath before she he recorded the song and honestly you can tell like it's just so the the album and I think I think that's what she was trying to get at the album is what country like the first and somebody else tweeted this the first um, third is what country music what people think country music is the second is what country music should be. And then the last is what she interpret, interprets as country. You know what I'm saying? And like, it makes so much sense. Also, it was stated that the, the half, the second half of the album was in conjunction with the dream. And her and the dream, whenever they get together and collab, they make magic. Then, I don't know what it is. Is it iHeartRadio? That's today. And she's dressing all black and gold. I Look, music aside, this country hat, glitter, shining, this rebrand, I love it. Like, I love it. And I, I don't know if it's because I'm from Houston or what, but, like, with the rodeo going on and then the renaissance going on, like, it really has changed up the fashion for a lot of people. And I'm digging it because, as y'all know, I'm a fringe bitch, okay? So... It don't take too much for me to wear some fringe. And on top of that, it's Beyonce. So, I really love the whole album. The album is no skips for me. But, I love, I love, um, Levi's Jeans. I love Daughter a lot. I love Bodyguard a lot. I love Desert Eagle a lot. Um, but my top would be Tyrant. Um, Yaya. Um, spaghetti and sweet honey bucking and river dance. Um, but I just, I <sighs> y'all have to, and, and another thing is that I understand inflation has has captured everybody, including the one percenters, to where everybody and their motherfucking mama is going on tour this year. Um, and I was because I was I was on the fence with Megan Thee Stallion's tour because I just didn't want to go through all of that for American Airlines tour. I just didn't. It's sold out now. But now that Beyonce's coming, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to not go? Come on now. Let's all, let's all be for real. But I've listened to the album three times. And I listened to them on my beats. And I listened to it twice in order and then one on shuffle. And for me, when I really like a song, because I'll just, I'll just let the album play and I won't look at the titles unless I really like a song because I need to know the title so I can go back to it. And I felt myself picking up my phone. I said, mm, what is this? Mm, what is this? Mm, what is this? It is so, I, and I don't like country music. It's just that when music speaks to you, it speaks to you. And that's the, that's the reason why I love music so much. And, and I think that's another reason why I love Cowboy Carter so much. Because this was a, this was a project. This was a, an accumulation of, you cannot put me in a box. You cannot define me so much so that I'm going to show you. What you think the definition is, I'm going to show you something even better. And she did. Have y'all heard Tyrant? Have y'all heard Sweet Honey Bucking? And another thing that I really enjoy are transitions. And my thing is, especially with a country album, especially with a country uh, influenced album, even if it defies genres, even if you don't like Beyonce, you cannot tell me that this is not a good body of work. You can't tell me that. Because if you tell me that, I'm gonna think you're lying. And I and then if you tell me that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think that you don't have a good sense of judgment and a good sense of character. And I'm assuming that you think I'm a fool. 
I'm assuming that you think I got boo boo the fool on my motherfucking forehead. If you don't think this is a good body of work. You may not like Beyonce. You may not like her sound. But this is a quality piece of work. It is. It's just really, really good stuff, man. It's just really, really good stuff. Like... Cause I, and I think another reason why I really enjoyed it is because, because I thought it was going to be a country album, I didn't have any expectations for it. I was only just going to give it a loyalty listen because it's Beyonce. But baby, when I started shaking this flat ass, when I started shaking this flat ass, I said, ah, ah, hold on, hold on, Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce got that, what? Man, I wish I had my speaker. Because if I had my speaker, I would be popping my shit. Like, when Tyra... And when she said, hello, hello, girls. Hey, Beyonce. I don't think you're ready for this. And I know for a fact, Tina Turner would love Yaya. Tina Turner would love Yaya. And I wish she was still here. Because I know she would have put that... I know she would have put that woman on that album. I know she would have. I know she would have because, and then at the Country Music Awards, she said that she, um, Stevie Wonder was the one that gave her the award. And she was like, oh, and thank you for being on Jolene, uh, playing the harmonica on Jolene. Run the credits. Show me the credits. Because obviously, you're a genius to the point where you're pulling people, you're pulling legends out of retirement. And they want me to hate Beyonce? Beyonce Janelle's nose Carter? Somebody was talking about, man, I'm so tired of her singing about um, her husband and this and that. She's never leaving that man. How many times have we heard the same thing from your favorite artists and rappers and we haven't batted an eyelash? Of course she's not leaving John Quan Basquiat. She's been with him forever. Both good and bad things have occurred, okay? They have both had their pros and cons with, this, with each other outside looking in. And I honestly... Don't care because like we said, she's not leaving that man. So let us let her sing about her. Hmm? Let her sing about him in peace. In peace. Jolene, Jolene. She said, don't make me fuck you up, Jolene. Don't make me fuck you up. Y'all let me know what y'all favorites. Beyonce, um, Cowboy Carter songs are. I want to know so bad. Let me know in the comments, if you listen to Cowboy Carter, what your top five is. Again, my top five is Tyrant, Yaya, Spaghetti. I want to put Bodyguard in my, in my top. I want to put Bodyguard in my top, and I want to put Sweet Honey Bucking in my top. But Desert Eagle and Riverdance, the transition for those two... It reminds me, somebody said it on Twitter again, it, it reminds me of um, Plastic Off the Sofa into Virgo's Groove. Yeah, yeah. And then somebody said, what if she made Act 2 Cowboy Carter before she made Act 1 Renaissance and Act 2 is supposed to fade into Act 1? Oh my God. What if we get that in concert? I'll pass out. And then for the ones that hold me, like they, they make my, my um, heart cry a little bit. Protector, Daughter. 16 carriages yeah and then the the ones that like i like on the side is levi's jeans for sure yeah yeah god just let me know because i'm super excited i really enjoyed the um i really really enjoyed the album um it was pleasantly surprising to me like i know for a fact that that's going to get replay value like when i'm cleaning when I'm in a car, when I got my headphones on, I know. What are you doing? Anyways, back to what I was saying. Ooh, not this all dropping in like it's hot. Back to what I was saying. Make sure y'all let me know if you listen to Cowboy Carter, what your thoughts were. Then, like you saw, Went to Juicy Crab, Juicy Crab in Atlanta, Juicy Crab, Juicy Crab in Atlanta for the first time. Because I wanted to be in Atlanta and try at least one thing, Atlanta. And Juicy Crab, as y'all know, because I'm on a seafood kick right now, Juicy Crab is where I needed to be. I've had better Juicy Crab, I mean, I've had better seafood balls, but... <laughs> I have... <laughs> 
I've had better, I've had better juicy uh, seafood boils. I have, but for what it was, it was good and it was very affordable. Now they're juicy. Their combos are a little odd to me. I don't think mussels are kind of like a common thing that people like, but they had them on a, quite a few um, combos. And another thing is that their crawfish it didn't it didn't taste fresh. It tasted very much frozen. They were big ass crawfish, but it didn't. I, I couldn't crack the shell very well, and I didn't like that. But other than that, it was pretty good. I would go again. Um, nothing really crazy. It was a tad bit salty, just a little bit for your girl. Because butter based sauces are already dangerous. Okay, let me tell you that. Let me tell you that right now. The way it enters the body and enters and exits the body, very strange behavior. So the seasonings have to be a blend of the butter and the seasoning, not too salty now. Because if you're using 15 herbs and spices like it's KFC, you need to make sure that you minimize the salt now. Just use a little bit of Miss Dash, some. You know, get a, little, get a little in there. And then we went to Sephora because the Sephora sale is happening on the 5th. And we wanted to make sure that we had the necessary tools and ingredients we needed to make sure that we purchased very well. And I have some things that I want to purchase for sure. And then, because I wanted to re-up on this. Um, but she had an extra and she said she wasn't using it just because, uh, transfer, um, you know, people hesitate to get stuff like that because it may transfer even if it dries down, which is very, very true. So I do recommend that if you do get something like that, you need to make sure that it's transfer proof. However, as for me and my house, I don't give a fuck about any of that because I like to glitter and glow. Okay. So I'm going to get a, like summer Fridays, topicals. Um, and then just re-up on a few items and then I want to get some perfume as well. So hopefully I do But yeah, I think that's really it. Um, I'm headed back home tomorrow So I mean I had a really good time. The thing about it is is that um, When you spend when you keep company with friends, it just makes you f remember what life is all about Okay, <laughs> it just makes you remember what life is all about and I think really like really good true friendships like Y'all don't have to do much, you know? Y'all don't have to do fucking much. Just, you know, be honest with each other and be real with each other and just be friends. <laughs> be friends. So, super excited. Had a good time. Um, just finna wind down because I didn't take off of work, so I will be working. And then, yeah, we'll see how everything goes. But I know, like, I was, I was just, I was debating whether to bring my second laptop, and I should have brought it, so I could have definitely edited. But that's okay. Nothing, nothing, you know, it just be a little outdated. But that's okay, you know, that's all right. But yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Woke up in love It's the real you uh, It's the real me uh, I can't do nothing but envy uh, Yes, please Yeah, yeah Oh, the love went through me like lava Oh, my fit over these hips You grip like right And you taste
is fine with me I'll never stop you, never stop me